as you know, in the last couple of weeks, we've been watching new episodes of Hey Queen, and we have our new addition, Mr. Adam Joseph, and the Go to Bed Wig. We Yay! love them. One of the fun things about having Adam on the show is, like we've said in the beginning of the season, more music. And today we're adding another element that I really enjoy. Samples. Hit it, Adam. Shade comes from reading. Reading came first. Reading is the real art form of insult. Now you want to talk about reading? Let's talk about reading. Category is Butch Queen First Time He Drags at a Ball. You know what I mean. You know what Barry says. Exactly. Butch Queen. Butch Queen. Butch Queen. <laughs> <laughs> play a little game that I was trying to play with Kevin Aviance when he was supposed to be on our Hey Queen Live at Austin Drag Fest. Yeah. But he got sick that day. So he wasn't able to do it. We were going to play a game called What Would Junior Do? <laughs> because back in the day, Lady Red, one of the greatest joys of seeing Kevin Aviance perform, he would always perform at DJ Junior Vasquez parties. Mm -hmm. So Twilo, Sound Factory, and all the rest. <laughs> But what Junior and Kevin would do is Junior would play stuff when uh -huh. during Kevin's performance uh -huh. and like try to fuck with him oh. and like play things weird and like do double things. Oh. And so Adam today challenged me. Oh. He said, oh, you wanted to make Kevin Aviance play the game, uh -huh. but I'm going to make you play the game. Oh. So yes. here today, we're going to play our inaugural version of what would Junior do? Adam's going to play samples from Paris is Burning, the greatest movie of all time. Uh -huh. And uh, I am going to try to correctly lip sync oh. each thing. And Lady Red will be the judges. You're <laughs> welcome. <laughs> All right, Adam, don't make it easy for me. All right. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. Touch this skin, honey. Touch all of this skin. Okay. Thin, streamline, trim, model. You just can't take it. You're just an overgrown orangutan. I look at her hair and it's saying she's seductive and she's Alluring. Fangy. Looking like the boy that probably robbed you a few minutes before you came to Paris' ball. I think we need to turn it up a little bit, Johnny, though. Yeah, okay. Okay, <laughs> bring it. I had to do a little watermelon, yeah. watermelon right there for that one. Just right, getting right, you warmed right. up. Bring it, bring it. You ready? Let's do this. Uh -oh. Ah. Now I have to really bring it. Is she ready? I'm ready. Fangy. Ready? No more than that because we have to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, and that has been what would Junior do? Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Lady Red, how did I do? You actually did a wonderful job. Thank you. You did a wonderful job. <laughs> I was kind of surprised because, oh. you know, some really don't get it. Well, you know what I mean? Especially if, if you don't continue the succession, <laughs> which you, you did a wonderful <laughs> job too. You shady bitch. You did a wonderful <laughs> job. I love it. Thank um, you. Um, uh, if you were wondering where all those things are from, you're like, I've heard them say that on Drag Race, but honey, no, that's from Paris is Burning, which is from the ball scene. 
which has been bringing you shade, reading, and all the rest forever. If you haven't seen it, it's an educational moment for yourself to watch my number one favorite film of the world, Paris is Burning. Hey, 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 queen.